ciao. Alrighty, well, I am super stoked uh, because today I am going to tackle these beautiful car seats um, that I received from SEMA, uh, new partnership. And honestly, I don't know if you guys have this problem too, but I have been searching for the right universal car seat because honestly, I beat the crap out of my uh, car seats. And honestly, I can't be doing that to my beautiful Honda Civic. So um, this is one of those messy hair, don't care kind of days. And we are just going to get right into it. Well, uh, universal car covers usually are decent or really terrible. And in all honesty, they're always too expensive. So I'm happy that I have potentially found the middle ground where it's an okay price and is also going to be a really legit quality. So these are actually made in Turkey. Um, let's see what's in this package. And there are directions, but I have watched a video already. So uh, we're just gonna go take it out to the car and see how this goes. We are going to start with the passenger side first because I want to make sure I perfect that before I go do the driver's side. Now I have uh, vacuumed and uh, I did a spot cleaning on all my seats before I'm going to put this on. Start by installing the seat cover bottom. You want to alternate stretching it over the seat bottom while also feeding the excess through the back of the seat. You want to make sure it's tucked in behind the seat belt buckle. I used my hands to feel where the seams were supposed to live based on the edges of the seat. Secure the front using hooks provided. Be careful what you hook to under the seat. You do not want to accidentally hook wiring or operational cables for the seat. This is a good spot for it. If you have the space, there are elastics on the side so you can secure the sides tightly underneath the seat. I did not secure the elastics on the sides. Look people, this is real life. I'm sure you'd do the same. I actually think that looks pretty nice. Make sure that you're lining up the side airbag with the correct side. This side, outside. Install the top half of the seat cover a bit like you would a pillowcase. You're going to feed the extra through the seat just like you did with the bottom cover. Once you've got the slack out, you're ready to secure the elastics under the seat. So there is a little bit of slack on this edge, so I'm going to redistribute that. Now my uh, headrest goes right here, so I'm actually going to redistribute some of this to the front so that this sits a little bit more in the middle. You wanna find somewhere safe to actually attach it to underneath the seat so that you're not attaching it to um, any of the uh, wiring for the seat belts or any of the moving cables for the actual seat. Uh, so um, underneath where that actual metal hole is is a really good spot for it. Take one of these little things. Well, I sort of cheated and did a three fur. So I literally have the top guy, the middle guy, and the bottom guy all in one strap. So top guy, middle guy, and this bottom one all in one strap. Okay, both hands to go underneath things and then back to this opening. Because this is actually the cable to loosen the seat so we want to go under it not over it. I also daisy chained a couple of the hooks when they weren't long enough to reach a good place under the seat. The last thing to do on this seat is attach the headrest. You start by cutting a small slit. You can always cut it more but you can't cut it less 
so start smaller than you think you need and tuck it under with your nails or a screwdriver. That actually looks real clean. The headrest cover didn't appear to matter which direction it went on. Then slide the headrest back into the seat. I sat in it to make sure everything felt even and where it belonged. Well, round two, hopefully this side goes a little bit faster because now I'm a professional. The only difference to note on the driver's side was that the underneath of the seat, there was actually less places to put the hooks for the elastics. Okay, pretty straightforward. The bottom is the one without the zippers, and then the top is gonna be the one with the zippers. You could technically do this job without removing the backrest for the rear seats, but it would be really difficult to get the belt buckles back through their designated slots and everything lined up if you didn't. So you'll see how to remove the entire back seat and replace it. If you were just removing the bottom of the back seat, there is one 10 millimeter bolt here and you would push toward the back of the car and lift the seat up and out of the hook that's on the passenger side. This is what had that 10 mil, and that was right there. So there's my bolt. And then I just have these little guys left. They're not anything special. And then this hook here. So those fit in these, and then the hook goes underneath this guy. You can see the marks. It was pretty straightforward to install the bench seat bottom cover. I just hooked the elastics to each other across the back of the bottom. Then I set the bottom just outside the door so I could remove the backrest. Okay, so we're gonna undo those. Uh, we are gonna undo those, and we are gonna, gonna undo those. Okay, now that those are undone, you can literally just wiggle the seat out, don't lose this. Now, technically, this metal bracket should be attached, but I'm missing a washer, so it was sort of floating. Have a look at the photo here. When putting the bench bottom back in, you want to make sure the seat belts are not caught or twisted. Then start the belt buckles in their slots while simultaneously angling to fit the hook back in on the passenger side. Then pull the seat belt buckles through. Remember to tighten down that 10 millimeter bolt to hand tight or five to seven foot pounds. You wanna start them all before you tighten anybody down. Once all the bolts are started, tighten them hand tight or five to seven foot pounds. The pivot bracket bolt is torqued to 16 foot pounds. This seat back is a 60-40 split, so I lined up the zippers so they would be happy. The only speed bump I encountered is that because I have built-in headrests, I couldn't get the cover to fit as tightly as it would on cars with removable headrests. Okay. 
You're going to push the excess through just like you did on the front seats. These two little pieces are for the sides of the seats once you make the split. So because my seat moves here, we're gonna cut right here and right there. Okay, so I started this zipper, which is the one that was still attached. Here's what the back of my seats look like with the elastics in place. Well, I have had these seat covers for about a month now and I actually love them. I love the way that they bolster your back right here because my Civic really never had that before. Also, when I purchased them, there were all sorts of different fabric options, different colors, and the company themselves, they were super helpful in finding me what was right for me. I didn't want something flashy, and I also really loved the universal aspect. So I'm very stoked. I needed them to be slightly waterproof um, and really just protect the car from me. So um, I'm really happy with them. And remember that if you need help installing yours, that I do offer automotive education and consulting, my contact information's in the description below.